Well, Demi, you've been at the club a good few years now. How does today compare to all the other brilliant moments you've had at the club since you've been here? Right up there, you know, to, to do it in the last game of the season in front of the sellout crowd is obviously really good. But if you ask me, I didn't want to be that way. I wanted to be done way over before today. But in the end, the main objective was to win the game and rely on other results to go away. And uh, that's what happened. I thought we were excellent today. And uh, we deserve really stayed up. Well, we know we have not been great this season. Everybody knows that we're not going to get, you know. But the main thing is we're in the League One again next season. So our goal was achieved. You know, I guess, I mean, I always say that you finish in the division where you deserve to finish and you'll be a League One club next season. Yeah, we have because we we finished better than the other four teams. So nobody can really say we don't deserve it because we do. The last 10 games we've been outstanding. We've played, we've picked up form in the right time. We've played really well. And uh, it was really disappointing on Wednesday, you know, not to get a win because it was going to be an eye on hounds today and we didn't have to rely on other people. But in the end, it's a job done. And... Uh, Everybody can celebrate, and I'm really happy for the fans, you know, because they had a you know ter terrible year, if you say, because they follow us away and home, and they, they deserve this, you know. For the fans, I'm, I'm I'm extremely happy because they've been brilliant, not just to me, to the whole team as well. But obviously, we had some stick from them, we deserved it, but in the end, I'm I'm glad they sold out the stadium and they witnessed what what happened, you know, them going on the pitch as well afterwards. It's a it's a memory for me. I'm definitely going to remember for the rest of my life. I say in, incredible scenes, and say just a few sh short few weeks ago, we we didn't think it was going to be the case. I, we, we spoke about a month ago, and you used when we spoke a number of times the word fight and yeah. exactly what the side of the show no that's what it is if you, if you look at Mark Bonner's teams in the last three years since he's been over that's that's what we got we're going to fight and we scrap for our lives because I'm telling you every player cares every player cares about this football club and they want us to keep us up everybody we talked about you know we had meetings with the players you know getting together and just said listen we've got to stay up guys you know we never wanted to be the way it was we wanted to be comfortable as we were comfortable last season but sometimes in football things don't go your way and it takes a lot of discipline and desire to do what we did. And I'm, I'm, listen, I'm so, so happy. You know, just seeing the fans singing, you know, our name, singing Bond's name, because Bond deserves everything. He's been getting a lot of stick lately, but he's, I'm telling you guys, behind closed doors, he's incredible man management. He knows how to speak to people. He knows how to, you know, he's a brilliant coach as well. And I'm, I'm really happy for him as well because he, he deserves that. There was obviously tension here, tension elsewhere across the country. You were relying on results from elsewhere. Were you getting yeah. one or two messages through while you're out there on the pitch, didn't you? Or was it difficult? <laughs> I felt like I was asking more often what's the scores than actually looking at a game, you know. <laughs> but the boys were excellent. I think I've touched the ball a couple of times, you know. I've touched, have had nothing to do. But that's all credit to the lads in front of me. And uh, to finish on style the way we did, you know, created so many chances. And I think that's been the difference in the last 10 games. 10 games because we scored a lot of goals and in the end of the day goals that win you three points you know and we've been excellent I don't remember when was the last time we didn't score two goals part of obviously Bolton and um, Burton we've been excellent you know the boys going forward Sam, Nibsy, Jack, Brophy they've been excellent and uh, they deserve what you know they deserve we deserve to stay up there's been so much focus, so much composure you've had to apply over the last few weeks so now you can relax you can celebrate yeah it's job done now I actually did an interview like after the hockey game and it wasn't job done now, but now it's job done completely. Everything is finished. Now we can look forward and actually have a good summer because I'm telling you, if we went down, I was gonna be it was gonna be a horrible summer for everyone. But now we are we're staying up, we're gonna be in a division again next season and everybody's gonna go home happy. It's gonna and I'm sure everybody you know involved with the club will be happy because they know what we did. You know, not many people can do what we did because everybody thought we were dead and buried two months ago, you know. So we prove people wrong and that's the main result. Huge congratulations, thank you, Dimmy. Thank you very much, guys. Dimmy, just one from me, obviously, give me a question about the contracts in the summer. Where, yep. What is your opinion? We are actually having talks uh, next week, so I'm actually not sure what the club are looking to do and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure we're going to sit down and discuss every possibility next week. So we're probably going to know more next week. Yeah. And what, where do you stand on that? Would you yeah, of course. You know, I've been here six years. I've grown to this football club. This football club is giving me my footsteps into the men's football, and I, I love the club. You can see my reaction to the fans. I was, I was trying not to cry. I was trying to hold it in, you know, because uh, it really means a lot to me. And I didn't want to see this football club go down because um, the people behind the scenes and everyone involved is, is they're brilliant people, and uh, they deserve that. But like I said to you, I just want to. Want to want to enjoy this moment? Go back to Bulgaria, see my family because I've not seen my family all season. So uh, enjoy that moment, and then uh, we're going to have talks for sure. Okay, great. thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.